Hello, this is your Campbell University Online 131 Research Paper Checklist. You can look on your syllabus for a very long explanation of your research paper. We've also got PowerPoints for you, but I've also got a little checklist for you here. I like checklists because I feel like I can go down the checklist and make sure I've done everything I'm supposed to do. The first item is make sure that you submit your research paper before midnight of the indicated due date. That due date is going to be on your schedule of assignments. It's going to be on our announcements. It's going to be on the last page of your syllabus. It's going to be all over our course site. <clears throat> so make sure you submit your research paper before midnight of the indicated due date. Also, it's very important that you realize your research paper is worth 32% of your final grade. Now, the great thing about this is you have complete control of this grade. Every tool you need to make a 100 on your research paper is here for you on our course site. This is a relatively small research paper and everything you need, including research assistance, which you can find on our course menu, is available to you. If you want to make a hundred on this research paper, everything is here for you to do just that. This paper requires a minimum of six total pages. The title page, page one, will have your name on that page. Page two will be the body of your paper. No need to put your name again on the top of page two. You should have four full pages of double spaced text. 12 point Times New Roman font. So we're going to go over these again. If you include images other than on page one, your title page in your paper, please insert them at the end of the body of your paper. Do not insert images within the body of your paper because you may not have four full pages of text. And in order to receive full credit on this research paper, you will need four full pages of text. That means pages two, three, four, and five are all four pages of double spaced text, 12 point times New Roman font. Your last page is your works cited page. That's page six. You're going to need to use the MLA format for citing your sources on the works cited page. You are in college and as expected of college students, all research papers should be grammatically correct and free of spelling errors. There is a one point deduction per typographical spelling or grammatical error. This is so easy to prevent. All you need to do is proofread carefully before you submit your paper. Ask someone else. Ask for a fresh set of eyes to look at your paper to catch any errors. Also, check your Turnitin.com feedback for highlighted errors. Correct these errors before you submit your paper for grading. If you look at the top left corner on your Turnitin.com feedback, you will see a red button for originality and you'll see a blue button next to it that says grade mark. Click on grade mark and any errors you have will be highlighted for you. It's that easy. Number five, understand that you must write this paper in your own words. If you must quote the author to make a point, use quotation marks to indicate any words that are not your own. This final point is essential to your research paper grade. If you are missing one of the required sources, which meet the criteria of author and publication date, you will receive a 10 point deduction. That means that you have to have a minimum of three sources, each of which must have an author and a publication date. You may also have supplemental sources in addition to these three, but you must have at least three sources, 
each of which has an author and a publication date. Our Turnitin.com rubric is on our course information page, our weekly content page, and our week in our week three and four folders. This rubric will give you a clear understanding of the acceptable Turnitin.com originality similarity percentages. The maximum allowable originality similarity percentage from Turnitin.com for this assignment is 15%. If you go over 15%, you are going to have points deducted. And the rubric showing you this is listed also on our week four page and other sites on our course. I strongly suggest that you submit your paper to turnitin.com as early as possible for several reasons. As we said before, turnitin.com will identify errors for you before you submit your paper to me for grading. Plus, if you submit your paper early, you have time to resubmit if you need to rework your paper to lower that originality similarity percentage. It can take 48 hours to receive feedback from a resubmitted paper. I recommend that you do not submit your Works Cited page to Turnitin.com. I would suggest that you only submit pages 2, 3, 4, and 5. You only have to submit the four full pages of text to Turnitin.com. You will submit your research paper twice in our Week 5 folder. Using the indicated links, you will submit it to Turnitin.com first. Then, after you've corrected all of your errors, after you've double-checked, proofread two or three times, then you will submit your paper for grading to me. And you'll see that link. It's very clear. It says submit paper here for grading. That's the last step. Now I have provided two examples of successful research papers from former students. If you are like me, it's sometimes easier to understand assignment requirements if you can see a successful completed example of that assignment. I hope this checklist makes this a little easier. You know you can always ask me questions. That's why I'm here. Please let me know. You can email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible with any questions you have.